What's up everybody? Hope you're doing wonderful today. My name is Timo and today we're going to talk about how to create a culture in your business to cut down the churn. Before you start, you have to know how to present your offer, how to create a value and how not to be boring. Because if you're boring, you're not going to make sales. So in this video, I'm going to use my favorite gym, Victor Center, as a case study. So what they did, they opened it gym on 1st of January 2018 and in my town we have like five gyms so what's like what's gonna drive me to their gym why would I leave the gym where I'm working out right now to go to their gym right so first of all they had a better quality to um, offer than the other gyms had before uh, they are bigger and they also have like a more flexible uh, time which really, really works for me because I have uh, uncontrollable schedules. So sometimes I work in the morning, sometimes I work in the night and I need that flexible time period where I can go to gym. And what they did, they actually offered a towel for the first 30 uh, members. So this is the towel they offer. It has the logo Invictus Center. And what they did over here is they created a urgency and scarcity because only 30 and the first 30 will get the towel. So let me tell you something. 2nd January 2018, in 8 in the morning, I was over there. I was waiting for the owner to open the gym. So that's it's working. So first, what do you need to know? You need to learn as much as you can about your customer. Where they're living, how they're going to the gym, how much they're staying, when are they working out, as much as you can. So for example, average person works work out for about three months and then either they stop working out or they take a longer break. So what they can do, they can incentivize people to stay longer than three months. For example, they can offer a cool Invictus Center t-shirt for a person that um, orders like a five month subscription today, you know, a bundle. So what they did is they ensured they get paid for the fourth and fifth month and they started to create a culture because I'm going to wear my Invictus Center t-shirt and I'm going to be proud of being a member of Invictus Center. Second up, what they should be doing is training their staff to care about the customers. So my old gym, like I would go there, I would work out by myself and then I would go home boring right in this new gym there's a guy and he's over there he's helping us like I can ask him whatever I want about the machine about the workout about the supplements about the diet everything and that's not his job he's not getting paid to teach me about supplements he's not even selling the supplements but he's doing that he's bringing me value and he asks nothing in return like me just paying him or me paying him and then asking for advice is saying to him like he's uh making sure i feel comfortable i feel like i feel valued and then that's like the difference between the gyms like one is boring and other is helpful and i would rather go to the one where it's helpful and just because the staff is more friendly the members of the gym who go there would naturally be more friendly and I can tell the difference between my old gym and this new gym is that in the old gym we all had the earbuds on and we just work out and then go home but in this one we help each other we laugh we hang out we exchange information we hang out after the gym or on the weekends and that makes it more fun for me to go work out that means I'm gonna stay longer than three months and then what they should be doing is follow up with the client you know like after you make sale usually people just stop contacting the client they don't care about them and even if they care they don't follow up with them and the client feel like the business don't ca doesn't care so what they could be doing is they can uh, like the owner could stop me like before I exit the gym like hey Timo how do you like our gym is everything okay do you feel something's missing what's 
what you can compliment, you know, like give us the feedback or they can send me an email or text me or call me or whatever. They have my information. So follow up on your client, make sure everything's all right. Make sure they feel like they, the value you're bringing to them is what they paid and make sure they don't feel cheated out or scammed and make sure you reward the loyalty of your customers. For example, if, I would to stay and be a member of your gym for 12 months or whatever just give me an Invictus Center hoodie or whatever like say Timo thank you for uh, being in our business we appreciate you here's the reward or do a random giveaway or be like yo Timo you just want a free month subscriptions because we appreciate your business because we care about you we love you we respect you we want you to keep coming back and let me tell you something I will keep coming back if you treat me the way I wanted to be treated and what else could they do they could keep providing more value they could create a video on how to do a proper bench or a dip or a, a whatever a leg press and maybe they can give um, dietary advices or whatever on the Facebook fan page and keep me engaged even outside the gym let me like help me share your business like give me content that's valuable so i can share it with my friends then my friends will come and be part of your gym they're gonna pay you like help me grow your business so that's what and also if you want to learn more about how to create a culture and grow your business i have a phenomenal offer for you so get this book it's called Expert Secret by Russell Brunson by clicking this link below and if you get it to my affiliate link by the way the book is free 100% free and if you get it to my affiliate link I will give you free bonuses so first of all I'm gonna give you my top 10 favorite Russell Brunson's video so you can watch them while you wait for your book to arrive and the second and third bonuses will come soon and like I will share to you when I made them and they're in the process of making them so the one would be a uh, Facebook messenger chatbots so I'm gonna walk you to how to create your own uh, Facebook messenger chatbots so you can use it in your business and the second one is how to uh, create a sales funnel I'm gonna walk you to a process how to create a sales funnel so those two offers are free right now usually the value is $197 because it's really really important like the difference between a website and a sales funnel is the difference between being broke and having a business so if you like it just go check out the book it's 100% free you're gonna get cool bonuses that you wouldn't get if you get it to somebody else and make sure you give the thumbs up or share it with your friends if you find this a valuable Thank you very much and I'll see you later.